Jessica. Well, an amazing performance by a woman from Liberty Lake. Kim Bowler swam the entire length of Lake Coeur d'Alene nonstop. That's about 24 miles in all. She did it Sunday night. KHQ's North Idaho reporter John Webb spoke to her today. And uh, John, what a story to tell. Yeah, that's right, Sean. 24 miles. I couldn't even bike that far. Kim Bowler of Liberty Lake says it's a dream she's always had. Uh, incredible, hard, exciting. <laughs> All words Bowler says describe her 16-hour journey across Lake Coeur d'Alene. And then I just always had this bug being local that, you know, this lake, it's never been done here. It would be cool to be the first one. And she is the first one to do so, according to Bowler's research. We reached out to historians in the Coeur d'Alene area and weren't able to confirm, but we do know of someone who swam a similar distance. I know there was one person several years ago that swam 18 miles of the lake to prepare for the English Channel crossing. So that's, I wanted to do the full length. Bowler had quite the following on social media. In fact, she even had a GPS that tracked her every move. She started near Hayburn State Park and swam the entire 24 miles to Tubbs Hill nonstop. For a couple hours, it was just fun and like, wow, this is going fast. I'm cruising, you know, and then, of course, during the night and during, you know, as the swim went on, I was feeling more discouraged and tired. Bowler says she never wanted to quit, but as they got closer to Tubbs Hill, she was in for a surprise. Coming into shore, there's a little group on the beach cheering for me, and so seeing them, hearing them, uh, yeah, just made me pick up the pace and get into the shore at the end there. <laughs> She had support along the way as well. A boat and a kayak followed her the entire way and floated food and electrolytes to her as she continued to swim. She tries to drink about eight ounces. A challenge she's never taken before and one that has brought her so much joy. All the comments coming in on social media and stuff, is, I, it'll take me days to read them all, but I'm so thankful to everyone that cheered me on this whole time. It's incredible. It certainly is. And Sean Bowler isn't finished yet. She says she's got other goals she'd like to achieve in the nearby future. We'll, of course, be tracking those. And before I toss it back into you, Sean, I just got off the phone with the Coeur d'Alene Museum, who said that she was indeed the first person to swim the entire length of Lake Coeur d'Alene. Live tonight, John Webb, KHQ Local News. Uh, great story. All right, John, thank you.